Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. And today we're gonna take a look at all the amazing stuff that you can and probably should be buying from Amazon. Now, there's a ton of places to get gear. There's actually some things that I would recommend not buying from Amazon, but a lot of us are on a budget and so we can't necessarily afford some of that really high dollar Gucci stuff. So this is some of the things that we have accumulated over the last few years that we've purchased off Amazon. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top, I think, I think 12 things that I have purchased off Amazon over the years and kind of run through them real quick and you can decide if maybe you need some of this for, for your overlanding, camping, off-roading, whatever you wanna call it, set up. Number one, sleeping bags. You can get some really awesome sleeping bags off of Amazon. Now, if you watched a couple of my latest videos, you'll see that I actually just got a new one from Enlightened Equipment. It's a high dollar bag and it is phenomenal. But before that, I had some cheap ones from Walmart. And in between, I had this one. It's a Teton, zero degree bag. It's full size. This one is the extra large version because I don't like to be all confined up in a mummy bag and all that sort of stuff, so this is an XL. I've got plenty of room to move around in this thing. It's super comfortable. It has the piece that wraps around your head so you can stay warm and cozy and that. I absolutely love the sleeping bag. It's not as comfortable as you know a super high dollar equipment, but that sleeping bag was over $300 and this one is $79. So you know, if you're on a budget, this is the way to go. This sleeping bag has been incredible. They've got a couple different styles. They've got a couple different sizes, but I've really, really loved this bag. This has kept me warm and cozy on many nights in my hammock. And it does fit in this handy dandy compression sack that you can make even smaller, but I mean, we're living out of our vehicles, not backpacking. This will fit. Number two, water storage. There's a bunch of different options out there on Amazon. These are some of the ones that I've used over the years. Standard five, six gallon jerry can style container. These Reliance square jugs have become my favorite because they've got the little spout on them. You can lay them flat, use it to, you know, dishes or toothbrush or whatever, but super handy, seven gallons and then these have actually been really handy. If you don't, you know, if you're just going out for one day or something and you don't want to take all this, these bags actually work. I've had this one for, I don't know, five, six years and no leaks, no issues. So water containers are very good. I will say Reliance just released a new version that looks like this. So it's much taller and narrower instead of a square jug, but it has this type of cap here and a nice wide opening. So you can lay it down like that on your table and I'm gonna get one of these, one of this style, the new style, very, very soon, maybe tomorrow. Number three, staying on with the theme of water. This is my hot water shower doing the dishes around camp setup. It's made by Mr. Heater, the same company that makes the buddy heaters that I'm sure you're all familiar with, but this is called the BOSS, the battery operated shower system. I've shown this in a couple other videos, just kind of highlighting it. It looks really big, but this, that's because this case is actually bigger than it needs to be. But I love this thing. And what this is, it's a fully contained, all you need is in this kit, hot water shower system. It runs off of one pound propane bottles, or you can get an adapter to run off of bigger bottles. It has a battery inside, so you don't have to worry about hooking up an external power source for the pump. No jackery, no you know, extra battery in your vehicle type of thing. Everything is in here. And I know you want to know how long this battery lasts. And I honestly don't know. I've had this thing since I think September or October of last year. And it's still on the full charge. Now I don't take this on every camping trip I go on. If I'm just in my Jeep, this stays back. But when we're in the camper, this thing goes with me because obviously it's, there's plenty of room to store it and it is so nice to be able to have hot water and take a shower if you're on an extended journey at camp. It's fantastic. 
In the bag, you've got your shower nozzle that attaches right here. It's got an on-off switch. It's got multiple spray styles, so you can have a little massage at camp. Not really, but you know, different, different water patterns. It comes with the pump, which plugs in right back here. And then plugs into there. And you just take this pump, and I've got water in this jug, and it just happens to fit great down inside this, this opening. And you just drop it in your water storage thing. Let me turn it this way. I'm going to come around front. And on the display, it tells you the temperature of the water that you're starting with and then the output temperature that it's giving you. It also has two outlets. So you can use the sprayer or it's got this handy dandy little like a kitchen sink style faucet that you can put a bucket under. You can use it to wash your hands, brush your teeth, that sort of thing. So you can select which outlet you want it to go from. This controls your temperature. I've got it all the way up. And this will raise the temperature a good 30 degrees, maybe even more, above the ambient temperature of the water. So if you want it even hotter than that, you can disconnect this, drop it back into the bucket, recirculate it, and this will get your water temperature up to 120 degrees. At that point, it has a safety shut off and it won't go higher than 120 degrees, but the pump still works but you won't get any hotter water. That's freaking awesome. I don't know if you heard that. You can hear the, the flames kicking in. It's currently raising the temperature up 82, 86, 87, 89 degrees, 93, 95. It's 64 degrees input, 95 degrees output. That's not a bad shower right there. You can see it's got good flow. 98 degrees. Yeah, that's nice. You can turn that off. But the boss, the battery operated shower system, highly recommend. There are other hot water systems that you can buy off Amazon. Julka, I think, is a other well-known brand. But what really sets this one apart is that it has the battery pack and everything in it. If the battery does go down, you can recharge it with obviously a wall outlet. They also include a car charger so that while you're driving, you know, on the trip, on the trail, if you need your battery recharged, just plug it into the car charger. Or hook it up to a, a Jackery or a Blue Yeti or a Goal Zero or, you know, any of those portable power stations. This thing is fantastic. Sticking with the whole camp shower theme, these are both pop-up privacy shelters. We have two different kinds because sometimes we have two different needs. This one is one of the, you know, pop out and it has the wire things in it and it unfolds and then you gotta figure out how to do just right to, to fold it all up. Um, really like this one. It works great if it's not very windy, but it's super simple to set up. Now there's anchors, you can, you know, secure it and stuff like that. But if, it's, if you're going somewhere windy, this is not the best solution. But if you're going somewhere not windy or just need something really quick, these are the way to go. The, just the, the pop-up shelters. This particular one is great. This is a Kelty. It's a, called the Block House. It's a privacy shelter, but this one's kind of more like a tent. It's got metal poles that you have to secure around it. And then you take the material and clamp it to the pole like you would a tent. This one does really well in windy environments but it's kind of a pain in the butt to set up. Not near as easy as this. I mean, it's, it's not bad, it's like a, a tent, but it's not near as convenient as having this one. So that's why we have two. There's options, both have been great, both have served us well, but these type of privacy shelters, super great thing to purchase off Amazon. Next on the list, five pound propane bottles. These things are awesome to have. I got so tired of dealing with these little one pound tanks not knowing just how much is in them, not sure how many I was gonna need on a trip. So I've got, you know, maybe three or four stored away. 
they roll around. I do not like these. And one of the reasons why I don't like them is because when I was showing you the, sh the Boss shower system, this was attached to it. And when I tried to demo it for you, turns out this was empty. Not cool. And I don't have another one. So I actually did that whole demo on this. A little five pound propane tank. They're like 60 bucks. These are super cheap to get filled. I can get this five pound tank refilled locally for five bucks. They charge a dollar a pound for propane. These cost four bucks. Three fifty if you get them in a multi-pack. So it doesn't take long for this to replace five of these and you get your money back. Get a little adapter hose like this and you can hook this up to your camp stove, hooked it up to the boss, hook, you can hook this up to your buddy heater, anything that normally take these, use this hose, five pound tank. I took this to Colorado last year, we were gone 10 days. I think I didn't even come close to using all this. So these are super handy to have. They don't take up a whole lot of room. I mean, this if you had five propane bottles, it would take up more space than this five pound tank. So these are awesome. There's a couple different ones that Amazon has. There's one that my wife actually has that comes in like a whole nice carrying bag and all that sort of stuff, kind of a kit. But this is the one I've used. It's uh, actually very dirty and been beat around and I love it. These things are fantastic. Next, continuing with the whole shower theme that we've got going on is this cradle, I think it's pronounced cradle, pressure shower. This, you can see how small this is. This is great for if I'm out just in the Jeep, not taking the camper just for a couple days or maybe on a longer excursion. But this is a portable three, two and a half, I think, to three gallons water container. Hang on, let me show you. I'll be right back. There we go. Got it all filled up. Ugh. It is two and a half gallons of water. This bag is super heavy duty, so it won't rip or tear. It's got a see-through window here so you can check your water levels. It's got a little, I don't know how accurate it's gonna be, but you can set this out in the sun to warm up before you, you know, if you could use this to take a shower like the other, but you know, much smaller and easier. Um, so it's got a little temperature gauge on here so you can judge the general temperature of the water. Comes with a quite long hose to use. And all you do is, wait. You step on the foot pump. And this pressurizes and you've got a water sprayer. This is great to have around camp, rinse your feet off before getting into your tent or your hammock, out on a muddy trail, use this to rinse the door handles off and stuff like that. This thing is awesome. And that's not bad water pressure either. Rinsing your dishes, this thing's great. And it, I think 70, 70, 75 dollars, not bad at all. So the cradle pressure shower. There are other brands that are more expensive than this. There's some that are less expensive than this, but to me, this just kind of fit the, the sweet spot in the price versus what it is type of thing. It's got a nice little sturdy handle, and you can keep this in your rig, pressurized like this, or at least full of water, and when you need it, it's ready to go. You got two and a half gallons on tap. Pretty awesome. As you can tell, I have got this kind of shower theme going on right now, so towels. These are very big microfiber camp towels. They come in all different colors. Um, typically have not been a fan of microfiber towels, but I've used these and these are actually awesome. Um, I mean, look how big that is. That's a, that's a legit towel. And they fold up to this small. If you've watched any of my, some of my other videos, you know, I keep a bunch of old towels like this. And this is one, I mean, look how much extra space that saves. And if I've got two of them stacked up, 
this saves a whole lot more space than these and they're a little bit bigger than these so crazy excited to have these camp towels they're they're freeland and all of this stuff there's links to in the description um, but these things are awesome I love these. They're, they're actually absorbent. It's kind of like a chamois for your body. You know, if you're used to detailing a car, washing a car, and, uh, you know, use the chamois to get the water off. That's kind of what these are like. Um, but these work great. I actually started using these in the house to test them out in the shower or after a shower. And they work fantastic. Love these. Moving from, I guess, the bathroom for showers and stuff to the kitchen. Since we've talked about rinse and dishes and stuff, all of your camp cookware, Amazon is a fantastic place to get stuff. Now, there's some really Gucci brands out there that you can get elsewhere. But, I mean, for just good general purpose cookware, Amazon's awesome. Um, this GSI cookware you can get off Amazon. All these nesting pots and stuff. My wife just got these. They're bowls with lids and cups and mugs. Um, there you go. Cups and mugs with little koozies for coffee so you don't burn yourself plates in here like that um, personal preference here I prefer plastic plates over the metal enamel plates because if you've got hot food on them those things the heat goes right through them and it burns your lap and it burns your hand these are great I like these um, but yeah the collapsible sink type stuff for doing your dishes or, or whatever, these things are great. These type of kitchen utensil sets are great. This is one that I got. It came with some of this stuff. A lot of the stuff I've replaced with like these bamboo wooden uh, spatulas and stuff. Love these. These Yuko or UCO sporks are great. Um, all this stuff. I mean, just there's a lot of options out there, and this is just the one that I bought. My wife got this front runner kit that is really nice and awesome. You can hang it up. Comes with all the things: knives, forks, spatulas, cutting board, um, just everything you need. It's got two carabiners, so you can hang it up on stuff on the side of your rig or on the side of the camper, that sort of thing. Um, but all things kitchen related, um, highly recommend getting those from Amazon. There's a lot of cool, neat stuff out there that uh, is really good priced. So all your kitchen stuff, Amazon's great. If you camp in the summertime, these USB powered fans are awesome. They do a great job of keeping the air circulating in your tent or your rooftop tent or, or you know, wherever you're sleeping and really help make those summer nights a little more bearable. This you can obviously plug into a big Jackery or Blue Yeti type of deal, but we just use these little power banks that you can get for your computers or to recharge your phones. These will last a couple nights just on this. They've got two speeds, high and low, and that's high. That moves quite a bit of air. And at the price point of these things, yeah, I think they're 20 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. Um, you know, you can get two of them, one for each corner of the tent, that sort of thing. But uh, these things are fantastic. And if you're camping in a summertime environment, I think these are a must. And these little power banks, not part of this list, but as a bonus, these are great off Amazon too. A little different, but tools shovels i got this one off of amazon honestly thought I, I, I had some questions about it but the price point of this thing was just too good to pass up and it's i'm going to call it a, maybe a, a, a tactical shovel um it's a it's a folding shovel but it's not like the little cheap janky folding shovels that you may get at walmart or academy or something this thing is substantial boom look at that I mean that is a legit shovel and it's got a decent edge on it 
So, I mean, if you need something for you know, self-defense or I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but that's uh, it's actually got a decent edge on it. It's got a saw blade there. These are obviously a little, you know, gimmicky. You're not actually going to take this and use this to to tighten the bolt, but you could. Um, it's got uh, rope cutter there. I suppose you could even possibly use that to, to open a can. Um, it, uh, this thing is awesome. And then it comes with some kind of some uh, survival gear with it as well. Like there's a flint rod, a striker, so you can, let's see. Make a spark to start a fire. And then it's got this little insert right here. That you can use also has a sawtooth, has a bottle opener here, has a decently sharp blade, not bad at all, um, but neat little knife if you need one. And this whole kit is just super cool. And that will actually fit down in there if you want to leave it as a shovel. But this whole shovel is crazy cool. It's a Graham Fire is the brand and it is very well built and really honestly took me by surprise when this came in at how good of a quality it was and it's incredibly inexpensive and this whole thing just fits right down here in this little pouch nice and compact this is an awesome shovel if you've seen some of the other gear reviews on my channel you've seen some of this stuff already but I just really have a thing for lights and Amazon is a great place to get all kinds of cool lights. They've got the solar powered string lights by Empowered. They've got the inflatable style lanterns also from Empowered. Love this light. I used it on the, the, the recent um, camping trip to the Ozarks. That was fantastic. Luma noodles. These things are way cool. And then you can get just stupid little cheap lights like this. Honestly, I hate this light, but bought it from Amazon. It was super cheap. And there you go. See, I, I don't like these lights. The output of these things are just very, very harsh and there's no direction down here. I, I don't like these. I do not actually I'm not recommending this, but it came from Amazon. So uh, other lights. This is phenomenal. This is my favorite light of all time. Puts off a great amount of light. You can hang it up, covers your whole camp area. You can set it down on a table like that. The sun just went behind a cloud. Look much better. So I love these. Luminoodles, also great. This requires a battery pack like I used for the, um, for the 12 volt fan. So not really as big a fan of this, but puts out great light. But these has the battery inside, solar rechargeable. So you can just leave it out in the sun and recharge the battery during the day. Um, really like that. I prefer this now over the Luminoodle, but I do still really like the Luminoodle and what you can do with it. So um, it's actually a, a pretty cool light. It has magnets here to attach to, you know, metal things and you can actually throw it in the bag with the battery pack and have this kind of as a lantern. So, Luminable's great, but these lights, the Lucy lights by Empowered, they're by far my favorite. And when you're done, done. Anyway, lights. Amazon. Good. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Amazon's a great place to shop and there's definitely some things that I wouldn't recommend buying from Amazon. I wouldn't buy a rooftop tent from Amazon. That would probably be a big no. Power stations like a Jackery, the Blue Yeti, um, all the other brands. Honestly, you're going to find better deals on those buying direct from their websites. Jackery's website is going to be cheaper than their Amazon Blue Yeti. You can get deals. I've got a coupon code in the description for $65 off of Blue Yeti AC50S and you can't get that deal on Amazon. So some things 
buy elsewhere. If you've got a local shop near you that's got you know different gear than this, absolutely support them. But here, I don't have a local shop. I've got to drive a good four hours to get to a shop that's got cool overlanding and camping gear that's not you know a, a, an academy or a Walmart. So Amazon has some great deals. A lot of great gear that you can get there. There's links to all this stuff in the description. Um, we've got an affiliate store, so you can just look at all the gear that we've purchased off Amazon and, and get it for yourself because if it's in the store, that means we like it and we use it. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. This isn't an adventure video, but we do a lot of those. We've i am actually got two trips the next two weekends back to back. Super excited about that. Going to make some epic content there. And if you want to see the routes and the camping spots and the waypoints and all that sort of stuff from those trips, look up the Patreon link. That's how we share that information and that's how you can help support our channel and our dream of doing this full time in a few years. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.